Good evening, everyone. I'm Andrew Percy, and welcome to the 2021 Gordon Graduation. This year sees our graduation presented in a virtual forum. Now, normally at this point, I'd ask you all to silence your mobile phones, but this year, I don't have to. However, unlike previous years, you can share your words of congratulations with our graduates as we progress throughout the evening by simply leaving comments in the live chat on YouTube. Tonight, we'll begin with a welcome from our board chair, followed by heads of centres with presentations about their individual areas. We'll also hear from one of our graduates representing the student community, and we will have final congratulations given by our CEO, Joe Ormino. Now, to officially welcome you to this evening, it's my pleasure to introduce the board chair, Justin Giddings. Good evening and welcome to the Gordon graduation for 2021. I would like to start by acknowledging the traditional custodians on the land on which the Gordon is located, the Wadawurrin people. I pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging who have taught their children and adults on this land and welcome any Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people to this celebration today. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Gordon graduates, family and friends, welcome. I would like to say at the outset that I am incredibly proud of our students who have worked so hard to achieve their education goals in 2020. Graduation is such a crucial milestone for graduates and their families, and I congratulate you on your achievement. And even more so, I admire your resilience and capacity to shine during unprecedented times. The completion of your qualification is a great personal triumph, and it is a milestone that is also shared by parents, siblings, and friends who contributed to your success. We are all proud of your achievement and wish you well in your chosen career as you leave the Gordon as one of our valued ambassadors. Those of you who have just graduated may not want to hear this, but you will probably undertake further study at some stage of your career, as I did. And of course, we hope that you'll be with us at the Gordon. A few generations ago, we all knew what this first qualification meant. Choose an occupation, study for that occupation, start a career, climb up the career slippery pole, exit career with grey hair, receive a watch as a thank you for your contribution, one life, one job. But today, data suggests a graduate will most likely have 17 jobs across five careers in their lifetime. The good news is that you leave the Gordon today with the best possible education to successfully enter the workforce and with the skills that make it possible for you to be lifelong learners. While your qualification is a valuable asset, the rapidly changing world that we live in requires us to continually retrain ourselves to fulfil our work ambitions and our life ambitions. You are entering the workforce with a range of mature skills that are absolutely portable such as teamwork, analytical thinking, problem solving, communication and project management skills. And while we live in a world of change and challenge, there is no doubt that this nation is built literally on its trades and its TAFE diplomas. You, the graduates, represent enormous economic and social value to our community. You will be critical in our community's post-COVID-19 economic recovery. Your future is bright and exciting. As a highly respected vocational education and training provider, the Gordon continues to be recognised as a leader in the sector. Throughout 2020, the Gordon delivered positive student outcomes and worked closely with both community and industry partners to address and meet their needs. This is reflected in the Gordon's student satisfaction and employment outcomes. Of course, I would particularly like to acknowledge those at the Gordon who drive and support the Institute's enormous efforts in accomplishing our success in vocational education and training. I am always impressed by the dedication and efforts of Gordon staff and our teachers and support staff who are the dynamic force that gives such energetic momentum to the organisation to achieve outstanding outcomes for our students. The year was incredibly challenging as we navigated life amid COVID-19, and I thank them for the resilience and commitment to the Gordon. I would like to acknowledge our Chief Executive Officer, Joe Amino, 
for his exceptional leadership during a year of unprecedented and disruption and complexity. I also wish to thank the executive leadership team for their efforts to ensure students and stakeholders are provided with the very best experience. I commend the vision of my fellow board members who bring a breadth of experience and knowledge to the role of governments. Thank you. And finally, as graduates, you have joined tens of thousands of other Gordon graduates who are achieving success in so many industries, locally, nationally and around the world. I myself am a proud Gordon graduate and I personally welcome you to the Gordon alumni community. To all graduates joining us this evening, congratulations. We commend you. Thank you and best wishes. Thank you, Justin. Now, to begin with tonight, we welcome Kristen Grasso, Acting Head of Centre for Culinary, Education and Teaching, to present graduates from the areas of Youth, Education, Culinary and Tourism and Early Childhood. But first, a short video of a student in that area. My name's Jake, I'm 29. I studied commercial cookery at the Gordon and I work at O'Neill's in Sale, that's my hometown. To start off with, I was, I was baking for eight years um, and I sort of developed a passion for cooking along with learning about baking. There's an endless possibility of ingredients you can use, flavours, um, different ways to cook those flavours, uh, and then you get to make them look really nice on a plate. The teachers at the Gordon have been really supportive through my whole apprenticeship. I've had a few teachers come visit me at my workplace as well just to help me out, but to make the effort to come all the way down to work with me down there has yeah, been really good as well. What a year we had in 2020 and still many great things were achieved. We've all gathered here tonight to not only recognise those achievements but to celebrate your fantastic accomplishments. The people attending this event were successful in completing their chosen course of study and it is an honour for me to be here with you all today and share in your success. The culinary, education and teaching areas had many highlights in 2020 and I'm going to share just a few with you today. The Gordon VCE program finished off the year being named the most improved school across Victoria. We successfully commenced delivering our first fully remote delivery of our TAE program. The culinary team imp implemented a bi-monthly newsletter to strengthen the connection between industry and the Gordon and the development of the new culinary school commenced. Many secondary school students successfully completed their VET delivered to secondary school programs and the VET area worked with secondary schools to develop two new course offerings for 2021. The Early Childhood Education and Care team developed an industry network to further develop and enhance the delivery of the program and identify skill gaps to upskill industry. All teams developed innovative ideas to engage students in an online environment. An example is the work education team who delivered classes to students with diagnosed disabilities and sent kits and packs out to students in the mail to build as a class activity. A very rewarding experience for both the students and the teachers. This is just a snapshot of the many successes of 2020 and I'm certain 2021 will see many more. I congratulate all 2020 students completing their studies and want to leave you with this quote. Remember to dream big to achieve and believing in yourself has endless possibilities. Thank you and well done.
Thank you, Kristen. The next speaker we welcome tonight is Wayne Ketchen, Head of the Design and Construction Centre. But first, a short video of a student in this area. Hi, my name's Kate Elstone. I work at Fusion Cabinets in Ocean Grove and I've just finished my certificate through in cabinet making at the Gordon. I, I kind of fell into it. I studied woodwork at school and like the hands-on process of making something with your own hands and then having a product at the end to show something for your work. The teachers at the Gordon are, are very good. They're very knowledgeable and willing to spend lots of time with me to make sure I'm getting it right and know what I'm doing when I'm put back out into the workforce. It is with great pleasure that I welcome students from within the Centre for Design and Construction to tonight's ceremony. I congratulate all students who have studied and graduated in the areas of visual and graphic arts, fashion, hairdressing, beauty therapy, floristry, advanced building design and construction, and the building and licensed trades, including bricklaying, cabinet making and joinery, carpentry, painting and decorating, electrotechnology, and plumbing. Tonight's event is a time to truly appreciate the success of your achievements throughout 2020, not just as students, but also as Gordon ambassadors and role models for your communities. I hope you will take time to reflect on the truly great gift you have given yourself of quality education and training and consider the next steps on the journey of lifelong learning. Last year, the Centre for Design and Construction achieved a significant set of milestones. A course in multidisciplinary design was established, the first of its type in Australia. This course is facilitated through the Design Centre of Excellence and provides skill sets in collaboration and cross-team engagement. We also began planning the expansion of our workshops at East Campus to cater for growth in the carpentry and plumbing trade areas. The Working Safely in Solar course was launched to upskill installers in the installation of rooftop solar panels in a safe and compliant manner. We also continue to deliver building and construction offshore into Asia via remote delivery methods. Probably the most important aspect of 2020 was our ability to continue training and assessment through some very difficult circumstances as we adjusted to a COVID world. We'd like to thank all our staff who rose to the challenge and made that possible, and also thank you, the students, for adjusting to facilitated online delivery in many courses. 2021 is already shaping up to be a busy year across the centre with some major work being undertaken through a range of course transitions and activities and we welcome all our students on that journey with us. So finally, a warm congratulations for your amazing achievements and I look forward to seeing how our class of 2020 can change the world. Thank you, Wayne. And now let's hear from our student representative, Ellie Natasha. Ellie studied a few courses at the Gordon over the last four years, beginning with years 11 and 12, followed by Certificate 3 in Individual Support, and most recently completed the Certificate 4 in Mental Health. Well done, Ellie. Good evening, and thank you all for being here to share this moment that we graduates have been working so hard towards. 
Tonight, we celebrate that we have not only qualified, but that we have achieved and excelled in our area of passion. All along the way, we had the wonderful support from our families and friends and the encouragement and help of our teachers. Following a year of extraordinary challenge, we are all incredibly thankful for our support networks. You gave us the strength, motivation and belief that despite the obstacles that we all face, we could overcome our adversities and realise our goals. So tonight, I know my fellow students would like to join me in saying how much we appreciate all those who have helped make this day possible. Like any change in life, learning new skills brings with it challenges, but let's not forget the opportunities it also provides and the great times we had along the journey. The friends met at the Gordon are made for life. The industry-based professionals we have been exposed to inspire us and our teachers enabled us to believe that we too will be a success. So, on behalf of all of our 2020 graduates, I would like to extend a huge thank you to the wonderful teachers at the Gordon. I would also like to pass thanks on to the support staff and others behind the scenes. Without you all, tonight our time at the Gordon would not have been possible. As we continue along our career paths and work in the community, I'm sure many of us will have the continued relationships with the fantastic staff at the Gordon. We'll work to develop and refine our skills and become lifelong learners in our fields. Victoria is undergoing an economic and workforce transformation. It is vital to this city to have positive and confident industry professionals at times like these. And I'm sure many fellow Gordon students will help ensure a stable future for Geelong, demonstrating growth and community spirit. Finally, I'd like to wish my fellow graduates health and happiness for the future and congratulations again to you all. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks Ellie. It's always good to hear from one of our graduates and about the experience they've had as a Gordon student. Before we hear from our next speaker, Colin Hatcher, Executive Director of Student Experience, Let's watch a short video of a student from the Health and Community Services Centre. I'm Kylie, I'm from Geelong um, and I at the moment am a foster care full time with MacKillop Family Services. At the Gordon I studied Certificate 4 in Child, Youth and Family Intervention. I've been a foster carer for the last six and a half years and um, I, I wanted to continue working with these little people. I've um, had 49 little people that have come to stay with us in the last six and a half years and um, I wish I could have a lot more. I know that there's such a need for foster carers out there. Hoping to become a child protection support worker, however I want to continue with foster care as well such a need out there for these little people. They need a loving home and while I can still give them one, I'd really like to. Hi, I'm Colin Hatcher, Executive Director of Student Experience. On behalf of the talented team of teachers, support staff and managers from the Centre for Health and Community Services, I want to start by congratulating you on your impressive achievement. You've done it, you've done it. You've set yourselves a goal uh, and you've achieved it. You were prepared, essentially, to make the sacrifices. You backed yourself, even it was when it was hard, juggling work and family commitments, relationships, finances, and look, let's not forget COVID. For most of you, this is also a day to acknowledge that you probably didn't achieve this alone. So don't forget to, uh, to give those who supported you a round of applause as well. This day brings meaning to everything we do here at the Gordon. It is really the, the highlight of our year. We're proud of you. I know that for, for some of you, uh, your qualification may simply be the ticket you needed for your next employer uh, or your next job or your next promotion. Equally, I know that for others of you, vocational education and training has literally transformed your lives. It's opened a door that, that, that can never be shut. It's lit a flame inside you. The flame might be small, uh, but, it's, but it's there. It could be the flame of self-belief uh, self or of confidence or of the desire to learn more knowledge and skills. Fan that flame. 
find yourselves a wind tunnel and let it rip. Now in your studies, you've been deemed competent uh, in every unit you've completed. You've demonstrated the required level of knowledge and skills. You've completed somewhere between 10 and 10 million assessments. But I'm gonna finish by giving you just one more task. It takes the form of a, of a story. Um, many years ago, a colleague of mine once gave a graduation speech uh, and he talked about bricklaying. Yeah, I know bricklaying's not, uh, not part of the Centre for Health and Community Services. And I don't remember the, remember the specific details of the story, but I remember his point. Vocational education and training isn't simply about teaching you the, the knowledge and the skills you require to build a brick wall. But this is important, but this misses the point. The Gordon is here to teach you how to use that knowledge and those skills to build hospital wings and childcare facilities and aged care facilities to create simple or powerful experiences that touch the lives of others in a positive way that protect or care for or nurture those who, who need it most. Simply put, to make a difference. So, so here's your last assessment task. Whatever your qualification, whatever your background, whatever your career aspirations, go out into the world and use what you've learned to make a difference. Look, finally, thank you very much for teaching all of us who work here at the Gordon uh, why we come into work uh, every day and above all, give yourselves a, a mighty round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, Colin. Next, we'll hear from our last program area from Dr. Yasmin Chalmers, head of the Science and Technology Centre. But first, a short video of a student in this area. My name is Louise Nicholas. I studied the Diploma of Conservation and Land Management. I've always done office work to pay the bills, but I never found it very fulfilling. So I finally realised that what I love doing as a hobby is what I should do for a career. So anything to do with being outdoors in nature, anything to do with plants and animals is what I love. So when I found the Diploma of Conservation and Land Management, I realised that was a career for me. And I was also encouraged by my teachers to do a lot of volunteering in my own time. And that's where I did this planting project as well. So I got lots of experience doing volunteering um, that really enhanced what I was already learning at TAFE. Welcome everyone to this year's graduation ceremony. It is with great pleasure that I present the graduating students within the Centre for Science and Technology who have studied accounting, animal studies, automotive, 
business administration, ICT, engineering, horticulture, conservation and land management, and work health and safety. Congratulations to you all on an outstanding effort to study and graduate in your field of expertise. 2020 was a year we won't forget, and one that presented us all with challenges and opportunities. To the graduating students, the qualification you have gained is a testament to your commitment, courage and passion to achieving your goal, whether that be continued study or joining the workforce, or adding value to your career. Graduation is a special event and one to be extremely proud of and a time to reflect on where you started and how much you have achieved. I'd like to take a moment to reflect on some notable achievements that occurred in 2020 across the Centre for Science and Technology. Many areas invested in equipment upgrades to simulate real workplace environments. For instance, the automotive workshop received a facelift and acquired new industry benches and car hoists and a state-of-the-art spray booth was installed for collision repair. Animal studies established veterinary clinical labs and the business area installed a simulated business medical administration centre. Our landscaping and horticulture students had an amazing year this year, being able to renovate a courtyard as part of a major restoration project at Cottage by the Sea in Queenscliff. Students gained real-world experience, community interaction, and a sense of purpose for how their studies can benefit others and translate into work skills. The ICT area collaborated with InfoExchange to deliver a digital skills program called TechReady, which gave students an opportunity to meet local ICT industry and business leaders, and also build up confidence in technical and job readiness for the workplace. I'm proud to announce that we launched some new courses Certificate 4 in Agribusiness and certif Certificate 3 in Accounts Administration and more recently we've just commenced Certificate 4 in Cybersecurity. The gradual adoption of innovative and entrepreneurial learnings across our courses is ensuring that Gordon is producing students who are capable of dealing with change and finding opportunities. More than ever students are now exposed to techniques that result in them becoming more work-ready graduates such as gaining essential skills in teamwork, critical thinking, problem solving, and effective communication. Finally, thank you to all the teachers, managers, and support staff for your determined commitment to ensuring our students receive a rewarding and memorable learning experience. It was an unpredictable year that has provided some exceptional outcomes. Whether you are continuing studying at the Gordon or venturing into a new job or career, I look forward to hearing about your continued achievements and successes. Congratulations again to all the graduates for 2020. Thank you and enjoy the evening.
Thanks, Yasmin. And that brings us to our last speaker for the evening. Please welcome the Gordon CEO, Joe Ormino, with final congratulations for our 2020 graduates. Good evening and welcome to the Gordon graduation for 2021. I would like to acknowledge the presence of our Chair of the Gordon Board, Justin Giddings, Gordon Board members, and of course, all of you, family, friends, mentors, industry supporters, teachers, and specialist staff. Congratulations to all who have graduated tonight. You have no doubt worked hard to reach this night and made many sacrifices in order to complete your studies. And isn't it magnificent achievement in a year of complex challenges? You should be very proud of working so hard to complete your education during unprecedented times. Congratulations also to your parents and other family members and friends who have supported and encouraged you and who tonight take such pride in your success. All of our graduates here tonight have shown a commitment to their studies. Every day, their vocational education has seen them draw on skills that lead to success. Your enterprise skills, your creativity, initiative, self-reliance, and of course, your optimism. The commitment and effort you have shown so far will no doubt support you in meeting your career goals, both short and long-term. We wish you the best for an exciting future in your chosen field, careers that will span an array of disciplines from commercial cookery to carpentry, from veterinary nursing to electrotechnology and hairdressing to horticulture. Your teachers, many of whom are with us tonight, are proud to watch you embark on your career, knowing you have the necessary skills, industry connections and professional preparation to thrive. Every graduation provides the opportunity for me to reflect on contribution of our graduates, industry supporters, teachers and specialist staff who are part of the Gordon community. All of us in this Gordon community are keenly aware of the vital role that education and training play in sustaining and developing Victoria. For over 130 years, the Gordon has focused on empowering aspiring students to secure jobs of the future through education, skills development and innovation. This approach ensures the Institute is well placed to make an innovative contribution to the post COVID-19 economic recovery. To all our graduates, I encourage you to remain connected with the Gordon, to stay part of our community. Not only are you now alumni, but maybe one day you'll be sending your own apprentices or trainees to study with us. Or you may return to further study, or maybe pursue teaching as a part of your career. We encourage you to continue to be part of this extensive, supportive and incredible group. On behalf of this Gordon community, I congratulate you on your achievements and wish you every success for 2021 and beyond. And now we have the opportunity to hear from some of our graduates. Thank you. Hi, um, I'm Andrew Hobbs. I'm graduating from the Diploma of Laboratory Technology from 2020. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for the teachers uh, for doing such an amazing job, especially for such a hard year with the pandemic and everything. Um, for all their knowledge and experience. And thank you as well to all my classmates and friends and family for all their support throughout the year. Thanks very much. My name is Lisa Friday and I completed my Certificate 3 in Business Administration Medicine. I'd like to start by thanking my teachers Angela Lace, Angela Walker and Louise Devenham for all their support. I'd like to say thank you to my partner Luke and my entire family for all the support that they gave me. I wouldn't be here. Where to from here? I'm studying my Certificate 4 in Health Admin and I am hoping for a job at the Epworth. I am Leila and I'm studying Certificate 4 in Training Assessment uh, in 2019. Thank you Sydney, your teaching style was amazing. Thanks Matt for the last time. The course gave me the chance to find a better career and now I'm working as a vehicle tutor and supporting my student at Hurston Hornbrook Academy. Thank you. Hi, my name's Tara. I've just um, completed the Diploma of Nursing in 2020. I'd like to thank um, all of the nursing department teachers. They've done an amazing job. They've been very supportive. Um, 2020 was a difficult year with remote learning and things like that, but we couldn't have asked any more of you. You've been amazing. To my fellow students, uh, the Group Bs, I feel very lucky to have met each and every one of you. Um, and I feel especially close to you and I can see some true lifelong friendships um, going on from this. 
Uh, I'd also like to say a big warm welcome and good luck to this year's 2021 students. Hi, my name is Jane. I just finished my Diploma of Internal Design. I would like to thank the support I have received from the teacher and the family. I'm looking forward to my new career. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ted. I'm really pleased to have graduated um, with my Advanced Diploma of Graphic Design this year. I'm thankful for my teachers, uh, namely Jose, Megan, David and Andrew. Um, my plans for the future involve just strengthening my freelancing business and hopefully in a few years time setting up my own agency. My name is Nevada Hancock. I did Certificate 2 in Furniture Making. I wanted to say thank you to Brendan Dean and to my family that helped me a lot throughout the two years. I am currently doing Certificate 3 and Diploma in Childcare. Hi, my name is Brodie Murphy. I did Certificate 3 at Horticulture at the Gordon. Uh, I'd just like to thank my teachers and my classmates for supporting me through my course. And my future goal at the end of this is to become a biologist. Hi, I'm Sam Sharp. I just completed my Certificate 3 in Commercial Cookery. I want to give a shout out to my family and all the great teachers, especially Dale Willingham, who was always there to help me through. Next for me is to keep working at Real Park State so your cheese. Hi there, my name's Ellie. I studied a Cert 4 in Mental Health here at the Gordon. Thank you to the teachers for supporting me through my education, and I'm now going to move on to youth work. Once again, so great to hear from our students. Well done everyone, and thanks to Joe Almino for his closing congratulations. Well, that brings us to the end of tonight's virtual graduation ceremony. I really hope you enjoyed the viewing from home. Now normally, I would invite you to enjoy refreshments in the foyer at Costa Hall, but this year you can enjoy them in the comforts of your own home. A very special thanks to all of our speakers this evening and to everyone involved in putting the Gordon graduation together. It does take a team effort to put on an event like this, especially in virtual form. On behalf of the Gordon, I thank you for joining us tonight. My name's Andrew Percy and I wish you a very good night. <laughs>